at liftoff of the Atlas V with MMS. This data set is so revolutionary that I think we'll be mining it for 50 years. MMS was uniquely designed to answer a central question in what we call uh, space plasma physics, is what is the process that seems to be able to release rapidly the energy stored in the magnetic fields. The release of this energy creates very energetic particles, and these energetic particles destroy electronics, people, materials, uh, and what we're trying to understand is how that process creates those particles so that in the end we may be able to predict those events and to take steps to protect our space assets, power grids, and uh, astronauts. We were in charge of what is called the field suite, which is the largest suite and about half of all the instrumentation on all the four spacecraft. We had to go measure the magnetic fields and electric fields. We watch the data as it comes in in the instruments via this feed. This was a huge opportunity for UNH. The Space Science Center has a 60-year history of developing instrumentation for space, uh, space science investigations. What MMS presented was the resources to tackle a very, very large problem. MMS, when it was established as a research contract from NASA to the university, was and probably still is the largest single research contract ever awarded to UNH. The infrastructure was here, the culture was here, and the talent was here. I'm really involved in the cross calibration of all of the instruments and in data processing for the electron drift instrument. And as an early career scientist, it's very fun to be able to see my name on papers in collaboration with other people that are really at the forefront of space physics. One conversation that I'll never forget, I had it with Roy, it was after the instruments were turned on and it was clear that you know the, the measurements were as good as they had hoped and even better than they had hoped. And Roy said, all my life, all my adult life, I wanted these instruments on this orbit. And I got it, I got it. It was really quite a memorable, memorable statement. And, you know, and we as the managers and engineers who had a part of that uh, derive a great satisfaction from that. Since the beginning of the, the space race, essentially, UNH has been part of space exploration. And being part of many of the satellite missions leading up to MMS and beyond really puts UNH at the, at the forefront of space exploration and space science.